Whether she's going green or glittering, Princess Catherine is known for her eye-catching outfits. Here are her top looks of 2022. In case you're new here, titles are a big deal in the royal family. They designate importance and seniority, and King Charles III's decision to give the Princess of Wales title to Catherine was no mistake. She and Prince William are the future of the monarchy. When Catherine stepped out for her first formal event as the Princess of Wales, she looked every bit the part. When honoring South Africa President Cyril Ramaphosa at the state dinner in November 2022, Catherine dazzled in a Jenny Packham white cape-style gown, with jewel detailing along the shoulders. The crisp white bodice was clean and impactful, yet the glimmering details gave the dress just enough sparkle for a princess. Topping off the look was the Lover's Knot Tiara, a favorite of Catherine's. This choice was rather touching as it honored royal lineage and history. The Lover's Knot Tiara was often worn by Queen Elizabeth II, who inherited it from Queen Mary. Elizabeth loaned it to Diana Spencer on a number of occasions, and given Diana's immense public presence, it became quite synonymous with the then Princess of Wales, making Catherine's choice that much more meaningful. When William and Catherine got married, the Queen gifted the Lover's Knot Tiara to Catherine. People certainly paid attention when William and Princess Catherine dropped into the United States. When visiting the city of Boston for the Earthshot Prize Awards in December 2022, the couple dazzled. While William donned a tux, Catherine opted for a rented gown by Solace London. Not only did the princess choose a relatively affordable option, but its color and her jewelry choice were nods to two royals who came before her. Such a vibrant green was a staple in the late Queen Elizabeth's wardrobe, and the inclusion of the beloved emerald choker, a favorite of Diana Spencer's, caught a ton of attention, too. When Princess Catherine first hit the royal scene, she was a fan of what can only be described as the pretty girl look. Lots of skirts, dresses, and reserved silhouettes, she did her part to play by the rules. But you know what they say about rules, once you know how to play by them, it's time to break them. Catherine has certainly embodied a new era of fashion that now involves pantsuits. One of her best 2022 looks came when she met with Prime Minister Andrew Holness of Jamaica alongside her husband. Instead of opting for a dress or gown, Catherine stunned in a bright white pantsuit by Alexander McQueen. Catherine paired the suit with a $300 orange top from Ridley London. By adding a pop of color, Catherine broke up the very professional look while also maintaining her new aesthetic. She means business. We are moving on. She paired her suit with a vintage orange clutch purse from Willow Hilson Vintage, a boutique in Cheltenham, and styled her hair in her classic loose curls. Simply put, this look was off the charts. When we think of the term princess, Cinderella probably comes to mind. The iconic Disney character made so many little children's royal dreams come true, and her blue dress was the stuff of fantasy. In her own royal fairy tale moment, Princess Catherine stunned in an ice blue gown at a reception in the Bahamas. The event in question was hosted by the Bahamas Governor General and was quite the affair. Prince William looked lovely as ever in his velvet tuxedo, but it was Catherine who stole the show in her Philippa Lepley gown. The satin dress, which consisted of an intricate bodice and draped neckline, was elevated by the shoulder tie details. The skirt billowed into a full train, and Catherine's poise made the dress much more ethereal. As for accessories, Catherine opted for a clutch by Lulu Guinness and incredible pumps by Jean Vito Rossi. If she didn't already look like Cinderella, the Swarovski crystals adorning her heels essentially turned them into glass slippers. Raise your hand if Top Gun Maverick was a standout experience for you in 2022. What the hell kind of mission is this? While the film was exceptional, it was Princess Catherine who stole the show when the film premiered in London. She wore a black gown with a bold white bardo neckline by Roland Moray. Her sleek hair and dazzling makeup brought the entire look together. Prince William and Catherine were joined by Maverick himself, Tom Cruise, at the premiere event in London. He and Catherine even made the headlines. The Top Gun star broke royal protocol when he took Catherine's hand to help her up the stairs of the theater. As royal aficionados know, protocol dictates that a member of the royal family should not be touched unless they initiate initiate contact. When Catherine attended Commonwealth Day on March 14th, she looked positively regal. Even this service did not pass without condemnation of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Opting for a stunning blue coat dress from designer Catherine Walker, she paired the look with a hat from Lock & Co. and pumps from Rupert Sanderson. Not only was the royal blue a nod to the Commonwealth flag, but it was a subtle tribute to the people of Ukraine, who have been locked in warfare with Russia for the majority of the year. Catherine also donned a sapphire necklace and earring set formerly owned by Diana Spencer, which Catherine also wore when she met Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, back in 2020. Joining her on Commonwealth Day was Prince William. Their three children were not present. Princess Catherine's wardrobe often pays tribute to other royals. It can be as subtle as her choice of jewelry or as apparent as an outfit replication. 
As the 2022 Royal Ascot rolled around, it was clear to every royal watcher that the then Duchess of Cambridge sourced inspiration from her late mother-in-law, Diana Spencer. Catherine opted for a gorgeous Alessandra rich polka dot dress featuring a high neckline, tapered sleeves, and a fitted skirt. She topped off the look with a hat from Sally Ann Proven and was the picture of elegance. It was nearly a carbon copy of Diana's outfit that she wore to a horse racing event all the way back in 1986. As detailed by People, the late princess wore a Victor Edelstein polka dot dress featuring classic 1980s shoulders and a fitted bodice to the Epsom Derby. She paired her look with a coordinating hat from Frederick Fox. She also wore her classic pearl drop-down earrings, which Catherine has also been known to wear. Not only did Catherine get the polka dot memo, but the hat she chose for the 2022 Royal Ascot was of the exact same shape, slightly diagonal and just gracing the top of the head. When the annual Diplomatic Corps reception arrived on the calendar, the Princess of Wales stepped out in a Jenny Packham gown of a rich red hue, dazzling the crowds and the cameras alike. The royal paired the look with the royal family's lotus flower tiara. The Princess of Wales also wore diamond earrings, and she completed her gorgeous ensembles with the Royal Victorian Order sash and the Royal Family Order of Queen Elizabeth II, which was pinned to her left shoulder as is customary. Not only did Catherine make a statement with her gown for the evening, but it was the first time since the pandemic began that diplomats and ambassadors from other countries were welcomed back to the palace. When Prince Philip sadly died in April 2021, the pandemic prevented memorials and tributes from operating at full capacity. The Duke of Edinburgh has died. As such, when the anniversary of his death arrived on the 2022 calendar, a memorial event was arranged to finally pay full tribute to the Duke of Edinburgh. Many members of the royal family were in attendance, and Catherine stepped out in an appropriate yet dazzling outfit. She chose a well-fitted black Alessandra-rich dress featuring small white polka dots. Black was a mindful touch given the sadness of the event, but as it was not a funeral, the touch of white added some lightness to the look. She finished her ensemble with a Lock & Co hat, a pair of black pumps, black gloves, and her beloved pearl drop-down earrings that she inherited from her late mother-in-law. The event marked one of the last occasions in which the Queen played an active role in planning, as she was unable to provide the stately funeral service her husband deserved at the time of his passing. Joining Queen Elizabeth II and Catherine was Prince William and the couple's two eldest children, Prince George and Princess Charlotte. As a senior member of the royal family, Catherine is a patron to a number of charities. She has spearheaded one in particular as her champion cause, childhood education. She has made a number of visits to children-based organizations in the United Kingdom, and when she and Prince William visited Boston in 2022, she brought her dedication to the cause with her. A mother of three herself, she's taken a keen interest in early childhood development. Catherine visited Harvard University's Center on the Developing Child during her trip and looked stunning while doing so. Wearing a custom-collared dress from designer Amelia Wickstead, Catherine was the picture of professional elegance. Catherine completed her outfit with a leather bag in a gorgeous blue from Mulberry and kept her hair down and in subtle waves. She opted for a pair of gold hoop earrings, which were a bold choice for the princess, and a pair of classic black pumps. Some commotion for the suit, please. While we certainly have a lot of favorite looks from 2022, Catherine looked absolutely ravishing in this one. As part of her Boston trip, Catherine visited the clean tech incubator Greentown Labs. There she stunned in a plum-colored pantsuit and a pink blouse, channeling Michelle Obama at the inauguration vibes. Beth Ann Holt, the Daily Telegraph's fashion director, told People that not only was the outfit a perfect fit for Catherine, but it evoked a new era of her fashion choices, saying, her new penchant for trouser suits is great because I think it puts her on a more equal footing with William. Visually, when you see them getting off the plane together, both in tailoring, both ready to get to work, there's no decorative duchess anymore. It's the power princess. She's a decade or more into her royal life. She's really found her feet, and she's going for it. She's embracing the power of royal fashion.